armored vests are super popular these days. The Icon Striker is probably the number one armored vest out there that you guys are kind of looking at. Either you already own it or you're thinking about actually buying it. Let me go ahead and tell you some of the benefits, features, and drawbacks of what this actual vest has to offer. So let's talk about protection. What's this thing actually offer you? The front chest piece that you see here, this is not certified. There is no CE certification on this actual chest piece. It's made of a hard plastic underneath. I have no idea what's in there unless I actually take a knife and rip it open. But it's not certified for impact in the front. In the back, that's a little bit different story. So you're going to see a lot of articulation going down my back here. It has that armadillo flex design. And it's very, very flexible. It's because this stuff has what they call the D3O armor inside of it. So it's like a gel armor. And once it actually absorbs the impact, the molecules inside actually tighten up and it becomes one solid hard piece to kind of disperse that impact of when you're going down. Now one thing I'll mention is that it is only CE level one certified for the back armor. How well it works? I don't know. I haven't tested it to be completely honest, but it's one CE of armor. So if you guys know anything about CE armor, basically it means that at any point of impact on this back plate, it can absorb up to 4,000 pounds of pressure. Now to give you an idea, CE Armor 2 means that at any point of impact, it's only 2,000 pounds of pressure that that impact point can actually absorb. 4,000 pounds is like an SUV rolling on you. 2,000 pounds is like a Mazda Miata rolling on you. You be the judge on how much that's gonna hurt. The actual fit of this vest, I usually wear a small jacket size. So when you guys are actually looking at this, it comes in small, medium, uh, large, extra large. I think those are the only two sizes. There might be other ones in between, but it's a two size type of little spectrum there that you have to go and choose from. Pick the one that fits you the best. As you can see me wearing this, it's a little bit high right here in the midriff. But in the back, it fits great. I mean, it goes all the way down to my tailbone like it's supposed to be. So know that you're going to be getting one of those. Now, if you want something that's a little bit more loose fitting, these guys do wear tight. So you might want to go one size up if you want a little bit loose fitting. So that's one thing that I'm going to mention right there off the bat. Here you see there's big panels here for you to actually go in and out of the vest very, very easily. It's made of Velcro. Boom, really, really easy to take on and take off. Also up here is a shoulder strap. This is also Velcro, you can go boom, in, out, and then take the vest on and off again very, very easily. So right now I wanna give you guys an up close shot of what this actual thing looks like in front and back. So here you go, there is a lot of mesh lining that you guys can see right here. The mesh lining goes through the chest piece right here as well. Also in the shoulders to give you a little bit of breathability as they like to say. Um, and then down here, here are the actual straps for the adjustability on the side here for your waist. There's no system here that actually keeps this piece actually together. This is it guys. This is really, that's all that's holding the side of this piece of armor together is this Velcro strip right here. How it's going to hold up in a crash, again, I don't know because I haven't gone down in a crash yet on it. Um, but that gives me kind of somewhat of an idea that this has the possibility to actually rip apart on the sides when you go down at speed. On the inside here, let's take a look at it. The lining here is this hydro dry wicking type of material that they actually like to talk about. It's supposed to keep you cool, but in my experience, it doesn't keep you cool. Um, so after that comment, you guys are probably wondering, what do I mean when I say that this thing does not actually keep you cool? Well, if you kind of go ahead and think about it, 
this whole chest rig that you're wearing and this back rig that you're wearing right here this is one solid piece i don't care how many vents they try to put in it you're wearing big ass pieces of plastic and plastic does not flow air combined with the liner that's on the inside this moisture wicking stuff right here it's almost like a polyester material so if you guys know anything about polyester it doesn't flow so any flow that was coming from this piece of mesh that's on the design right here it's getting blocked the cooling is getting blocked right here by the inside liner so very much so I find on a hot day if you're wearing this thing let's say over 90 degrees it, it, you when you take off your shirt and you get to wherever you're going to go you basically just have a soaked ass t-shirt but hey at least your arms and your neck are cool right now the build quality of this actual vest is very very good um i have no issues with it the molds are really good all the material here is put together very very well for $130, you better hope that you're getting a good piece of kit. And I can firmly say that Icon does deliver you a very, very well-made piece. Unlike the speed and strength vest that I was showing before. So at this part of the video, you might be actually wondering, why did they actually build this piece of armor? And what's the actual correct way to wear it? What I'm going to tell you is I'm not wearing it correctly right now. This is how 90% of the people that actually buy this vest are going to wear it. Let me go ahead and show you how it was designed to actually be worn. This, guys, is how Icon expects you to actually wear this actual piece. With additional armor. With an armored jacket so either over the top or underneath in my personal experience I find that I can't really wear this thing underneath it's way too bulky to zip everything up and down so I wear it over my actual jacket and if it it's perfectly fine this way you're getting full protection on the back and you're getting your shoulder protection that comes with your jacket and your elbow protection that comes with your jacket and a little piece of I don't know, chest protection here I'll say that again it's not CE certified chest protection but hey it's better than nothing right I'd rather be punched in the chest with this plate here than with nothing at all so what is my final verdict guys on this piece of actual kit or any other armored vest that's actually out there Reasonably speaking, I think for most people out there, this is an aesthetic piece. It's made to make you look badass, to be completely honest. I mean, it, it's up to you on what you actually think looks badass or not. But you basically look like Master Chief with this thing on. Like, you could take on anything when you're actually wearing this actual harness. Now... Is it going to give you the same level of protection as if you were wearing a mesh jacket? No, because I'm going to tell you something right now. This piece costs $130, and the only part of it that is CE certified, again, like I mentioned before, is the back plate right here. You see this, guys? This is the back plate that I actually have in my Alpine Stars jacket. It is CE certified 2, which means that this thing takes a harder impact than this thing here. And it slips right into my jacket. Now, something else that I want to mention to you guys is also on my Alpine Stars jacket, and probably on yours too if you look around. There are pockets in here for the actual chest for you to actually put CE armor in. And guess what? You put that armor in there, it's actually rated. This piece right here on the icon isn't. And all these pieces combined together, $40 for a back plate, $40 for a chest plate insert into your jacket, that's $80 bucks versus $130 for this actual rig right here. But again that's your decision to make guys it's it's really style over function one thing that i will say that is when you're actually doing little tiny jots around the uh, around town 
you may find it easier and you may find yourself going to this versus going out in a t-shirt and nothing at all so is it better than nothing at all yeah is it worth hundred and thirty dollars and is it actually functional that my friends I leave it up to you so this is your buddy piston rods hopefully you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you did but until next time I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! <sighs> Good God, it is freaking hot. I need to get this shit off of me. ASAP.